Good evening everyone, Livid Turkey here, and this is a Dark Souls 2 Large Tight Night Shards Farming Guide. I'd like to start off the guide letting you know that you can actually purchase these shards from an NPC. At the first bonfire in Harvest Valley, if you just progress up the hill a little ways, you'll run into a vendor named Cloan. Are you a traveler? I'm Cloan. After you exhaust her dialogue options in Harvest Valley, she'll appear back in Majula, and she'll probably only sell regular Titanite shards, and you might just have to progress a certain amount through the game before she'll sell large Titanite shards, but eventually she will. So onto the farming guide, you'll need to have the Chapel Threshold Bonfire unlocked, which is in the Brightstone Cove zone. So just head to any bonfire and travel there. As you arrive in Brightstone Cove, you'll want to head downstairs into the Spider Lair. There are three types of enemies in this zone. There's regular spiders, there's humanoid spiders, and there are casters who shoot a homing missile at you. You don't want to kill the regular spiders, you only want to kill the humanoid spiders, as the regular spiders don't actually drop any large titanite shards. So after you come down that first zip line, and you bash away this bookshelf that reveals the hole in the wall. You go through these first sets of doors and you will come across your first humanoid spider. These are the guys that you want to kill for the large titanite shards. They also drop prism stones, seldora caps, and human effigies. So when you kill these you kind of want to lure them back because it's really easy, as I'll show you after this, to knock them off the cliff. So even if you come up and you just hit them right away and you back off, they sometimes will you just throw themselves off the cliff and then you'd have to go chase them. And that's a different run, so I'll explain that later. With each spider you just want to be careful not to push them off. So after you kill these first two spiders, you don't want to drop down. Again, you want to turn around and head into this room with three spiders. These are the, the last spiders that you'll kill for this run, which is the run that I prefer. I feel that it's faster, but everyone's going to have their own preferences and gameplay styles, so I will explain both runs, but for now this is the completion of this one. So it's five spiders total, and then you're going to run outside, open this door, to get out, and sometimes this wizard will be in your way, just kill him. Sometimes he's not and you can just ignore him. Then you will want to fall down, and don't fall on the quicksand of course. Then there will be three rooms, and the last one will have a door and a bonfire inside. I've tried a few times to just activate the bonfire before aggroing these spiders, but it always seems to trigger the spiders first and I can't use it. So if you guys can somehow do it, great, but I always just run in and kill them. And then you'll just want to warp back to the place where you started and start your run over. So that's the first run. The other way is that if you fall down and you kill these three spiders, you can actually not go straight to the bonfire and you can go down to that bottom layer I told you not to go down to and you can kill a few extra spiders. Once you go down, you can't really get back except for a little trick that I'm going to show you guys. It's pretty neat, but I still think that it's faster just to do the other way. But I'm going to show you guys both ways, and I'm sure some other people will come up with some more efficient ways down the road. So after you kill those spiders down on the ground, you'll come across this bridge and two spiders will fall down. You want to quickly back up and dispatch them. If they fall on the spikes, it's okay. Um, you do have to get injured to loot their um, shards in case they drop any because those spikes hurt you continually while you're walking on them. So try to keep them above ground. After you run back across the bridge, the way that you came, you can open this door and this is actually a way that you're supposed to come into this room from that other room the other side of the zone where the bonfire is. So if you try to run and just jump just right, you can make it in. As you can see, I'm failing miserably. Um, I just wanted to show you that it's a little picky, and this is the reason that I don't prefer to take this route. If you can master this, then this might be the faster route. Once you make it inside, you can skip the spider and the wizard that are in that room and just run straight to the room with the bonfire, which ended your run previously. So this runs a little bit longer, but you do get a few more spiders. So it's really up to you which way you want to do it. 
The drop rate for these items is pretty good. I'd say it's about 1 in 10. It didn't take me too long to farm up a good number of these. I've also experimented with using the gold serpent ring to raise the drop rate, but it didn't seem to help. It actually seemed to hurt my drop rate. It's possible that it's raising something else on the loot table, like the human effigies or something that's just getting in the way. That concludes this guide. Once you guys and gals have done some testing of your own, please do report back in the comment section and let us know what your findings were so that we can figure out you know, the most efficient way to do this. Thanks for watching and have a good time.